an early morning start. We're going to work as deckhands on a fishing boat, one of my dream summer jobs when I was growing up. Hi, welcome. Nice boat. Hey, I'm Corey. I'm Sarita. Captain. I am not color coordinated. <laughs> the blue gloves clash with my Oh, green now suddenly you care about fashion, eh? <laughs> okay, guys, these are the halibut bait. I'm gonna put up a couple chumps. Now these are these are big fish. Pretty nice so, looking bait. Well, these fishers were facing declining stocks, and they had to throw away any species not on their license. A huge waste. But a strict new licensing and monitoring program, designed by the fishers themselves, has changed all that. So how did the fishermen respond when this new management program was put in place? It was tough, but as time goes on, more and more people are buying into it, realizing we're getting, getting markets because of it. Um, we're still fishing because of it. There's no point in uh, taking the last fish out of the sea. You'll have nothing to live on in subsequent years. So. Uh, nobody is more concerned with uh, sustainability than the fishermen who want to be in the industry for a while. Fishing sustainably has a big payoff. Fishermen get a premium for their catch, anywhere from a dollar to two dollars more a kilo, which is a huge incentive. Like me, Tiare has enjoyed fishing all her life. So it's really because your dad is a fisherman that you got involved? For sure. Um, fishing, like halibut jobs are kind of like royalty, especially when you're a girl because they want big strapping boys, so they kind of keep it in the family. One of the biggest um, changes to this management system is that instead of having an observer on deck, meaning somebody who stands there and counts the different number of species, you have a video camera. So every single fish that is hauled up over the side of that boat is documented. So you can't lie, you can't cheat, you can't bribe an observer. By the end of the day, I was covered in slime and blood from head to toe, but it was a great day. Dad and I always joked about it, but we couldn't believe that we actually had the opportunity to go out on one of these commercial fishing boats, because that has been our dream for a really long time. Unlike traditional fisheries, this management program doesn't deal with only one species. If a boat catches more halibut than its quota, or catches more of any other species, it can buy quotas from other boats, so they don't waste as much fish. It's not surprising that this program is being recognized around the world.